What's up, everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Witcher. And last time, we turned in a bunch of quests, got a lot of money. Whoa. Uh, that thing is you freaking mongus. I'm kind of terrified. Yeah, so we got a lot of money, bought the new chest plate, and just cleared out a cave full of cockatrices, but also, holy moly, that thing. Um, so, like, let's just sidestep here for a moment. And oh, but your normal equinoxes. I didn't remember that. But with our poison resistance that we've gotten from upgrading our character and from the new chest plate, we're actually in pretty good shape. Poison resistance standpoint. I think we're up to like 60% collectively now. I've seen this. That's Good enough that, I mean, you saw we took 8 damage from that attack, which is basically nothing. Granted, the normal Echinopses are pretty tame compared to the power plants, which we've yet to successfully fight, but we might be getting close at this point to being able to do that. But it looks like there are bigger and badder things out there now. More terrifying, too. We're headed for the Druid camp because we've heard that they may have some information that we can use to create a potion or purchase a potion for Harmon's significant other of the werewolf variety. Ooh. Is that the tower that had that beam of light shooting up from above it? That was kind of weird. But I thought there was another person. There was the Hierophant that we were supposed to talk to here as well. Other druid, do you have anything though? What is it? Besides a disappearing beard? Mind me what you have? We haven't read this? Hmm. I mean again, our coinage is pretty low at the moment. Given how we uh well, just purchased the armor not the long ago. So the order decimated us when we battled in the swamp. I know you had a hand in that. All oh, right, we haven't Yet talked to you alive. since then. I still mm. hope you'll come to understand who you are and choose the righteous path. Who would you say I am? You're no human, Geralt. Sooner or later, the Order will remind you of that. We'll see. In due yeah, that course. May very well be the case. But also... Hope these things. Have any jobs for me? I have a mission for you. Oh. One not entirely related to the struggle for freedom. Okay, carry on. Cut to the chase. We have learned that the ruins of an elven temple have been found in the sewers beneath the Zima. I think we've heard of that not as well. Not surprising, given the city was erected on elven foundations. We think Lara Dora may have been there, and may have left something behind. Okay. You will learn everything if you agree to help. I sent a unit there, but I fear something has gone wrong. I need you to find out what happened. Okay. I'll see what I can think do. we might Wonderful. need to play favorites here again, because I think we heard from somebody on the other side of things. They also wanted us to do something about uh, an encampment in the sewer. I don't remember who it was exactly, but also, why do you, why do you hate humans, humans so much? So much even? <laughs> why? I assume you don't mean ideology and the like, and you would rather hear some dark secret from deep within my soul. You assume correctly. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Mm, maybe? Agreed. I once lived in a city among humans. I was honest and courteous, respected all their ridiculous customs and laws. Assimilation. I lived that word for years, and during that time I was cheated, sneered at, on occasion beaten and robbed. I felt no hatred for humans. In fact, I felt better than them. I told myself they were simply incapable of controlling their weaknesses, their flaws. I was robbed three times as often as others. Racist slogans were painted on my door in excrement. 
For years I wondered why. Was I doing something wrong? What could I do to bring peace to my life? And you know what I came to understand? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. Okay, you could maybe wrong. turn your head I'd been lying not in to a totally unnatural position. Outset, just as the moon will never catch the sun, so humans will never change. They will remain egotistical, envious, petty, and fearful well, of anything. You do sound kind of egotistical understand. yourself right now. And believe me, there's plenty. Matters proceeded quickly thereafter. But that's another story. Now you resemble humans. No, exactly. Kevin, definitely <laughs> not. And you, I don't you, know, man. Who are you? You too have experienced human ignorance and hatred. Yeah, but you're kind of stooping to their low. Oh, okay. It's like we're about to give him a speech. Hold on. Feel no contempt for them. I don't look down on them. I don't generalize. Humans are how they are. I'll make no effort to change or fight them. I'll adapt. Evolution. Okay, this is kind of like the neutral ground, it looks like. Trying to make the sun stand still. To me, elves hardly differ from humans. This is like the, hey, you're not so high and mighty yourself. I don't understand you. I don't like your arrogance. You <laughs> will lost time that will never return, no matter how many whatever you say. That's probably human. As much as I outcast much, I'm as much an outcast as you. I see your point. I have no interest in torching human villages. I mean, that's also pretty inflammatory. Uh, I mean, this is kind of the way I feel, but I'm not sure I want to make as much of an enemy with you. Or commit to making you an enemy just yet. I know we're going to have to take sides, and it probably means we're going to be facing this guy, or looking at him as a rival, not a friend for the future going forward, but... Can we delay that a little bit longer, you know, until, like, maybe we finish that other quest for you, turn it in, and potentially get some reward out of it, if, in fact, it doesn't conflict with something else that other people are asking us to do? I think this is maybe the middle ground between these two. It is still pretty passive-aggressive, though. I'm as though. much an outcast as you, Yaven. I see your point, but have no interest in torching human villages. I'm glad you understand, White Wolf. Okay. Also, this is the person that you said would be down in the sewers. Lara Doran. Eb Shiedal was an elven sorceress. An N7. A knowing one. No idea what that means. She carried Hen Ikea. Elder blood. Okay, we have heard of that. Even us elves, as fate would have That's it. That's what Alvin Lara supposedly has. in love with a human sorcerer. Kragenon of Lod. Other humans could not bear it and began persecuting them. They became outcasts, shunned by all around them. Mm -hmm. No pleas would soften the stone hearts of the cruel and merciless Duan. When Lara, begging mercy not for her, but for her unborn child, grabbed the door of the royal carriage, at the king's behest, a man-at-arms lashed out with his cutlass, severing her fingers. Yikes. She fled the city, sought shelter in a forest. When night descended and the frosts came, Lara faded on a hill amidst the trees. She gave birth to a daughter whom she protected with what warmth remained in her waning body. Though a blizzard raged through the night, spring suddenly appeared on that hill, and Fenewed bloomed. Now those flowers grow only in Dol Blathana, and where Lara breathed her last. You must understand the importance of any artifacts. She was exceptional, someone whose loss defies words no matter what the language. Okay, so I was thinking... With her having the elder blood and having had a human companion, that her child might have been Alvin. Farewell. Although you said that it was a female child, and that would lead me to believe that probably not Alvin. Okay, now I want to just make sure that I'm not accidentally yep, looking at Moren. Because I cannot do that. But you. I need, I need to talk to you. Please talk to me. Yes. Thank you. Both these things, I think. I mean, this is the more minor thing. Let's start with I this. I come on behalf of a woman whose beloved transforms into a werewolf. She wishes to find a cure. You're a witcher. You should know how to treat lycanthropy. I'm a little, sure we, I'm a little once, surprised we don't know how. I no longer recall the method. I know several cures for lycanthropy. 
Though I've not put any to the test myself. Ooh. What of a magical cure? An elixir? I know not how to prepare one. You should question an experienced alchemist. I think we know I one of those. A shirt made with fool's parsley may help. Really? Yes. Gather five leaves of fool's parsley and tell the woman to weave them into a shirt. Something tells me you're not going to make a very big shirt with five leaves. Wear it for the night. Thanks for the advice. There is also one folk remedy. I'm embarrassed to mention it, but it is said pure, unconditional love changes beasts into... All right, now it's Beauty and the Beast. That too. Remember this. Lycanthropy is a disease that penetrates ever deeper. Before endeavoring to remove the curse, you must make sure the werewolf is still a man at heart. Why? If he is not, he'll continue the slaughter, even once cured. Remain nothing more than a monster. I see. Okay. I'll try to learn the werewolf's identity. Uh, yes. Might make things a little tricky. But also Bandits this. have appeared in the swamp. The trees Could be that just too late for that werewolf. Every last one. We are very grateful, Wolf. Huh? Oh. We got rid of them all? Apparently. Farewell. I guess I haven't talked to you since then. Although I thought that I still had to. Alright, so Carmen need to talk to her, but wasn't there something else we needed to do here? I thought there was something else we needed to do for Vasca. Related to talking to specifically that guy. Let me double check. This is Yaven's quest. Echinox, we did finish. We need to find Azar Shavit. I mean, presumably he's not right here. Uh, we tend to other matters and look for a break. Okay, so put that on the back burner for the time being. So maybe not in that case? Actually, what is the primary quest in that case? Okay, the Varden. Looks like it's time to head back. Yeah, so let's... We'll walk our way back or the Swamp Town, or maybe even visit Kalkstein at the Witch's Tower, if we can, make it all the way over there, because he was, oh, he was saying there was some alchemist cure, so that made me think of Kalkstein, but then he said there was the folk thing about true love and all that, and he seemed to describe that instead of the alchemist cure, so I'm not actually not so sure. Oh, that's a... More warrior, that's the humongous one that we encountered briefly before, wasn't it? Also, I have no idea what Barret is. That looks like a super wolf. Also, um, yeah, those guys that we started running away from, they did not go away, in case you were wondering. And uh, we are probably about to get completely swarmed. So, we'll see how this goes. We do have Bloodsuger behind us as well, which will explode. Oh dear, yep, we attracted his attention. Never fought one of those guys before. Oh, and there are multiple of them, in case you were wondering, run like heck. I would be willing to try fighting one of them when it's by itself. When we're fighting every single monster in the swamp simultaneously, that's when I draw the line. Want to be another power plant? Yep. I think the more warriors are everywhere, surprisingly. But yeah, somehow we are not dead right now. Don't ask me how. Focusing every time that happens, the instant that I walk in here, I feel like you're about to make this whole tower collapse. Yes. There, there's a chance that you just don't have anything to say on this matter. You, in fact, you're not to. To check if there's anything we ought to purchase from you. Oh, we saw this last time. We we're wondering if we ought to do it, but we were thinking we would save up for this chest plate. So, I mean, now that we have purchased it, Maybe it's an okay thing to buy, but other than that, this is bound in basic purchased from Alchemist. Does that mean we actually get more stuff 
available to us to purchase from the alchemists? Uh, I don't fully understand the phrasing there. Because, like, if, for example, that makes it possible for us to purchase more runes, more meteorites, then it seems like that is long-term way to find ourselves some nice weapons. But I don't fully understand, so I'm going to hold off for now. Immediately talk Take to you again, though. Okay, so we do that. And then... I mean, this would be the fastest way back to the trade district, but I think... Didn't we need to still... Oh, we need to talk to Carmen. We do still need to talk to one more person in the swamp area. That is true. Okay, so... Technically speaking, there is a shortcut. We go back... This way. Not going to be an easy route to take. There will be a lot of monsters there. May even be blocked off like this. As I think it is. I think we have to go technically to Gramps Place, which is here. We'll also have power plants. And how do we actually leave? Where's the way out? This is the back way. Good talk to Gramps. How's it going, buddy? Oh, he's still here. Still chopping away on his... Uh, something tells me that's not pork. It's probably not pork. You look pale. Can't you eat something? I mean, I, I did technically just Goodbye. take your pork, in quotes, with an asterisk. But aside from that, this, I believe, is the correct direction it is. I believe this should be unblocked, but yes, there will be one of the plants. We are too quick, though. So now we should be good. I am curious to try to fight one of the Hikamore, not workers, but soldiers or warriors, or whatever they were called. Just don't necessarily think the time to do that is when it's surrounded by Brazilian other things. Okay, there you are. I'm gonna say that was. Vasca, I don't actually think we need to talk to you. We mostly just need to talk to Carmen. Who I'm assuming is still over here. Somewhere by the ferryman. Or maybe she went... Oh no, she said she went back. Ah, yep. My bad. She said she went back to her place in the slums. What do you want? But we could have teleported there, but it didn't take us too long. Take me to the other That's side. That's not so bad. Granted, it cost us five orns as well, but also not terrible. To... I wouldn't have paid. It'll be fine. I think I skipped all those animations of those cutscenes. Apparently, I did though. Be alert. Okay. I don't think Levarden will be out here anymore. I think he's permanently relocated to the trade quarter. He is the person we need to talk to for the main quest. So, good to confirm. We will have to still head on over to the trade quarter to meet him. We'll talk to Carmen before we see him. Although I suspect that it may not be as simple as just handing her the, the leaves that we, we do already have. In case you were wondering, we picked many of those along the way. Should be fine on that front. As for whether or not the werewolf dude has become too much of a werewolf, to rescue, or if he actually does truly love him, who knows? Greetings. You've returned safely. The Hierophant revealed the cure for lycanthropy, but I must know your beloved's name. I'll not betray my man's identity. I'd rather he stay a werewolf. Let's hope your loyalty isn't his doom. Oh. Oh. Um... So are we just gonna, like, run into a random werewolf at some point? In town? 
like ripping everyone to shreds. Or it might be that someone who we've seen hanging out in the bar is actually a werewolf after all, even though we had no reason previous to, previously to believe that he was. All the fist fighters are gone. You're a gambler. I think we've seen you at night. It'd probably be someone who we have not seen at night, I would assume. In case, I'm not really sure who it would be. So, we'll see. Probably means just hanging around in this general area once we hit nightfall. But we'll make sure that we... Oh, it could be someone affiliated with the Order. Is it Seatreed? <gasps> Surely not. What if Seatreed is a werewolf? Oh my goodness. I don't know. My heart could bear it. But anyways. Oh, barrel rack? Maybe? Let's have some alcohol in it. Some medium strength alcohol. Not decent. There's the dentist, not in his abode. Trade quarter should be over here. If there is a flatter here, this would be the last one we need. Well, I would I'd like it if said flutter would, in fact, swoop on down here. There was a Kikamor worker here last time. Neither this time around. But we tried. Okay, so we'll head to the trade quarter. We'll talk to Lou Varden. Well, I have actually stopped by Tollers for a second. There's a chance he isn't here because he's been also in the trade quarter as of late. We have learned a lot more about him recently. He here? He is not. That's barrel that we just tried looting. I mean, it's mostly just looting his stuff in that case. Just maybe not terribly significant. Maybe little crafting materials here and there, but nothing groundbreaking. So yeah, back to Lou Varden. Put him on the map. Like I was saying, I suspect he's in the trade quarter. We'll confirm just in case he pulled a fast one on us. This? Yeah. And yes, you're telling me to go to the trade quarter. Let me make sure that we've read all of those documents that we've taken off of salamander people, because I'm actually not sure that we have. So, let's see, that is Grandma's Diary, and that is a little different. And... Ice box, no, no, no. This, where is it? Mm. Have we read all of them? Here we go, okay. These guys, can such a long list of quest items now. We actually have a lot of these that we may not have read yet. Okay. Let's check them out. Where will letter of safe conduct? Beautifully crafted letter of safe conduct bearing the royal seal? What? Can we find this from Salamander? Bearer of this document is by the will of Foltest, King of Tamaria, etc., allowed to be on the streets of the city of Vizima after nightfall, regardless of any regulations. He's also beyond the restriction applied under the state of emergency. Okay, so this might have just been the thing that allows us to move in and out of the trade quarter we got a little while ago. This is definitely from Salamander, though. And what on earth it says, couldn't tell you. That's a lot of consonants. And one, several juniors in there. That's about all I can tell you, though. Uh, we have two of these? Oh, okay. No, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I was originally right in that this is something that we got from Salamandra. But my assumption that maybe I was mistaken and that it was actually just us getting passage to and from the trade quarter, that part I think is wrong because the fact that we have two of these would suggest that we got one of them from each of the Salamandra leaders that we've taken out recently and that they do have 
it would seem, some sort of authorization from the king to move in and out of the city, which is quite notable. But that is coming from the king himself. I mean, we heard that there might have been some forgeries going on with regard to the guards. But nothing with Salamandra directly, so could the king be behind some of this? I mean, that would explain partially how they get so many resources, so much stuff. I mean, how on earth does a random group of bandits, gangsmen, get such a humongous military and military presence? I mean, they've hundreds of people seemingly fully armored and weaponized armed armored and armed there you go like that that stuff doesn't come cheap what brings you here Never. those people don't just grow on trees those weapons don't just grow on trees so you need to have someone or several people with very deep pockets help finance all that and that would make some sense if it actually turns out that that's the king. But we did have the Equinox contract as well that we completed and probably just went right by the person who we were supposed to turn that into. Yeah, the gardener. All right, let's double back real quick because the gardener is right here. Just barely on the other side of the temple quarter. Should have remembered that. My bad. We'll do it while we're in this general area because otherwise we will definitely get all involved in the trade quarter stuff and completely ignore we have that contract to turn in. Maybe it's just 100 orns, but as we were saying before, we don't have a ton of money at the moment, so we'll definitely take what we can get. Every little bit helps at the moment. Yeah, we walked right by you. Yeah, man. Hello, friend. Look how they grow. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Already did. I finished that and have proof. Excellent. Here's your gold. How much? Huh? Huh? A hundred. Not amazing. But at this stage, when we're a little bit broke, it is somewhat meaningful. We'll I'll take it. Now we'll head over and talk to Lou Real downpour. So the main thing that we're reporting to him is that we have taken out those two groups of Salamandra. And that we've gotten some of those materials from them. The written documents, which apparently seem to be things that are suggesting that they have some backing from the king. Whether that's legitimate or illegitimate. Can't really say at this point, although the stuff that we were talking to Taller about in the past, about the forgeries. Is that Taller himself? For a second, I thought it was. That stuff was, uh, those were documents that Taller was saying had the text to suggest that they were from the king, but they didn't have the signature. He was saying the signature itself is the hardest part to forge. Those documents did have the signature on them. So, pardon me. The place where we saw him before in the inn. So yeah, if they have the signature, then that may be reason enough to believe that they're legitimate. We'll see. I'd imagine Triss will probably be there for this conversation too. Since she was very directly involved in those conversations earlier. But also, oh, there's Taller. We could potentially fight some of these guys real quick to try to get a little more money. Because, uh, well, it wants to get slapped. As I was saying before, we're kind of broke. Greetings, Whitey. Got money? Wanna fight? Hey, dude. So I think the tough fist fighters, you can gamble up to fifty on them, and then the normal ones, you can do up to twenty. Bring it on. Which, I mean, collectively, we were to get all these guys, then that 
believe, at least in past games, amounted to about 90 coins. That was quick. Which, I mean, it's almost as much as we just got for turning in that quest. Not quite as much, but pretty solid for something that's pretty quick and pretty easy. Do we deal additional damage now that we have the armor that has spikes on our gauntlets? Look at that. We basically have steel knuckles at this point. Okay, so you are a normal fist fighter, so yeah, this one's only worth 20, I think. But that's the highest we can go without him saying, way too much for me. I don't know what just happened. Although, at the very least, I think the armor does still, I assume, limit the amount of damage we're taking, so... I was mostly saying in jest that it might increase our offensive capabilities as a fist fighter, but defensively, I assume it still applies, so it should make it easier in that regard. You'll only bring trouble. <laughs> it's true. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. Okay. There's 70 coins. Ooh, another tough fist fighter? Okay. Never mind, this would be another 50, in which case this would be more money than we were able to make get past ins at any one given point in time, because you can't re-fight them Should be an interesting once fight. you've uh, fought them really? once until, like, several hours later or something like that. They're basically like, you beat me up. I'm not ready to fight you again. So you can't just totally farm them like crazy for all the money in the world. Unless you are crazy patient, which, admittedly, in the past, I have done those types of things in some games. Mostly just doing this now, because we are in a bit of a tight spot, money-wise, but I think this will help get us over the hump. Should give us enough money that we can purchase ex somewhat expensive things if we need to do that for quest You're reasons, and still have it's a little no bit to spare, to the one. in case we see other valuable things that we want to buy in addition to that. Just what normal one. I think you're going to be the last person that we are able to fight here. Yeah, like, see, we're we're successful here. We'll make we'll it up to uh, over a thousand, which is a pretty solid place to be. You fight like a lass. Let's see if we can get this guy without. Uh, I was about to say without getting hit at all, and I jinxed it. Come on. Yeah, no, no. Do that. Who wants to get there we go. Hey, he's... Carol, Carol, he's... You beat him. You can stop now. Why, hello. Never you enough Take your coin and leave with me the uh, theatrics at the end. <laughs> okay, so I think this it guy won't actually fight us. Leave. This guy was sort of a quest-based fighter that we already fought. And all these guys that have the partially filled life bars are people that we have fought this time around. So yeah, I think we're done here. Dandelion, is there any reason why we should be talking to you? Carol, I'm oh, a right. concert tonight. You I think we heard this already. Thanks in no small part to you. Want to play dice? Kill some time? Mm, not, not really. now, Dandelion. But I'm assuming at some point that will be a relatively simple thing to do to attend his concert. We just need to actually show up here at night. Okay, but we're really looking for. Cheating dwarf is here. A Redanian spy, a witch, and a mutant. Disgraceful. All right. Well, maybe you're not so mysterious after all. You're just a racist. All the mysterious noblemen, though. Okay. There's Declan. No sign of Triss here. Apparently it is just us and maybe his female companion, which, again, I kind of object to that description. Yes? I have the papers you wanted. Great. I'll deliver them to our codebreakers. Return to Okay, it is considered we'll toast. Gotcha. Next move. Okay. Turn to him later. Okay, define later. It's like, for example, could we maybe stay the night here? 
attend the concert and then come back and hopefully Luvarnan is still here. We can talk to him after that. Seems like that might be a good way to approach things. I'll take your order in a minute. Any rooms? Five orange, just for you. Sure thing. Still kind of weird to be taking a snooze right next to all of these people who are having a drink or a meal. Okay, so we... Oh, we're actually not that far away from dusk. Actually, could have just waited it out. Or found other ways to loiter around the city for a couple of hours. But hopefully... This is now late enough to... Yep, Dandelion is having his concert, and... <laughs> Sorry, dude, if we were uh, sleeping through any of it. Enthralling. Truly enthralling. Pass the bottle, pass the cup. Down the hatch and bottoms up. Start with a one. Okay. Um, don't really know what to make of this, especially because, oh my goodness, are we actually trapped right now? I think we're actually trapped. I don't think we can escape. I don't think there's enough room for us to sneak by these people. Um, hey, uh, Dandelion? Are you? Oh. I'm in the mood to spin a tail. I'd be glad to listen. My throat is parched. Fetch me a drink and I'll gladly share my knowledge. I mean, I would, but at the same time, I don't think I can move at the moment. You've successfully trapped me in this corner. What would you like? Milk. Okay. Sorry, I, I mean, don't have any. Pretty sure I do have that. If I were able to actually get out of here, like, see if I could squeeze through there, maybe, or if I could like, mount this step. You're different. This bar stool. Interesting. Um, <gasps> we've done it! Quickly run. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? We've never tried to ask him about this, actually. Tell me about the meetings that occur upstairs. The noble Luvarden of the Merchant's Guild rented the first floor of my inn. I'm to supply food and drink and keep my mouth shut. I'm invited. Tell me more. If so, you know all you need to know. If you feel you don't honor my discretion... Maybe some gold will untie your tongue. I like gold, but you can't possibly pay me as much as Luvarden. I mean, that's probably true. Besides, I'd rather not annoy his backers. Who's backing Luvarden? Quiet. I oh, too much already. okay. Okay, that's a little interesting. Oh, forgive me. Busy now. Well, I, I do kind of need to get my stuff from storage. Can I do that with you? Make it quick. Yeah. Buy some milk from you, potentially? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh... Sure you don't want alcohol? Because uh, there's plenty of that to go around. Maybe not so much milk. Hey, I tell her, you have any milk by any chance? Also, does cheese count? Aged milk? Um, yeah, see, that's kind of annoying. Master Dandelion's Master Dandelion is truly talented. You see? You see, though? Okay, nope, nope, don't nope. go back there if we don't have to. Um, yeah, so, like, not really sure how we do- oh, um, hold on. The whole reason we were delaying to begin with was so that we could talk to Luvarnan afterward. And we'll just do that now, instead of wandering around the street recklessly. Ah, okay, well this actually- Ooh. Now we actually get the concert. Congratulations, I think. Your mother's 
Oh, 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 and now he's running away. <laughs> what the heck? Dandelion. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Hold on. Let's follow him. <laughs> Can we actually see where he's going? Or is he just going to disappear now? I'm very curious. Nope. He genuinely ran away. Okay. Um. Very odd. Perform and run. Okay. Now, I think we'll go up and try to talk to the garden. On the assumption that he will have had enough time to hopefully do whatever it was he was trying to do earlier. Coordinate with his... Oh, okay, Triss is here. Coordinate with his people who would decode the message. Let's actually check in with Triss first and see if she has any more information that we should know before conversing with Lugarden. Witcher. Maybe. Oh, we were supposed to talk to Triss about this as well, weren't we? And also potentially this. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Laura Doran Epshiadol was no normal elf, more like a genetic bomb. Oh, she was to couple fantastic. with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Laura fell in love with Kurgenin of Laud, a mage, a human. Laura and Kurgenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Okay. Triss, about the boy. But also, Not the boy heavier, supposedly has heavier. elder blood. We'll talk at home. Okay. I'll find you later. Speaking of the walls having ears, I mean, this guy is certainly one of those people who seems to be on the lookout for meaningful informations. Yes. But what did you learn? Have you learned? Documents? The no location of yet. the last salamander cell in Vizima's merchant quarter. I'll hurry Ooh. there now. Okay. Not so simple. It's beyond the supervised zone. Entrance is forbidden. So what's the plan? A city guard officer is our informer. He's posted in Vizima's streets. How will I recognize him? He'll respond to a password. Speak the words, the lily has yet to be engulfed by flames. I'm getting tired of this espionage. <laughs> he will answer, three lilies make one. He will direct you to the hideout. Okay, what are the chances that I remember those things? Probably pretty low. Also, if we put him on the quest log, do we just magically figure out which of the many soldiers in the streets he is? That would kind of simplify things a lot. Patrick, oh, I am curious, actually, if it is Patrick de Wazer, or whatever you say his name, because, uh, he does seem like he's supposed to be special. Welcome to my humble establishment. Will you allow me to withdraw some milk Can I help you? from my stash? Please. I assume I have somewhere... I mean, do we know what kind of milk? Some cow's milk? Okay. Probably be the most normal kind. Also, we do have some valuables here that we could definitely sell, namely the sapphires. Just to make some additional profits. Okay. Right. You supposedly have some info for us. I'm in the mood to spin a tail. I'd be glad to listen. My throat is parched. Fetch me a drink and I'll gladly share my knowledge. What would you like? Milk. Okay, you, you didn't specify which kind, but I'm gonna assume this will do. Exactly nice. what I needed. I'm listening. The basilisk's horrifying gaze oh. turns to stone all who venture into its underground lair. Wise okay. treasure seekers take mirrors, yet mirrors are no protection against the lizard's deadly venom. One bite, and the victim lies dead. Great story. Made my flesh crawl. Farewell. Okay, um, I'm assuming there's some truth to that story. That there is probably a basilisk lair, and maybe that we are in fact able to use a mirror. And I'm sure the venom is quite terrible. Technically not nice. 
we're actually safe right now? This surprises me, after having seen how many of those Kikimura workers we saw a couple nights ago, or however long ago. Uh, so what I want to see is if we do this, well, we are currently tracking it actually, will you just outright show me where he is? You will. Erebor Cave? It's actually very close. Like, right here. Theoretically, at least. One of these guys. Yes. Assuming it's you, because you are seemingly the most heavily armored and presumably, therefore, the most important of these people, and that is likely to be the person who is most directly involved with Blue Garden. The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Do you want flowers or something? I mean, go and bother somebody else. Maybe not. Uh, damn, this guy? Not in this thing. Okay, maybe that was a false alarm and it's not going to be that straightforward. Hey, they failed there. Luckily, they had no idea what I was talking about. I'm curious if it still shows the same spot. Uh, it may not. There are several arms dealers, I'm not sure if, and swordsmith, I'm not sure if we've really spent much time there. It might be that there's some good stuff that we could pick up from those guys. But, uh... Cancel, and then... No, I don't did actually want to track it, though. Um... I don't like to track it if you'll let me, but maybe it's just not possible because... That would defeat the whole purpose. A monster annihilated a pharmacist and is we want no trouble. Okay, yeah, so it does look like it needs to be the more significant big guys with all the armor on. They're the only ones that we can truly talk to. Eh, keep all the exploring to a minimum here. But the pretty flowers, those cannot wait. You, however. Yes. The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Is that a password? Uh -oh. Is it? Wait, are you testing me? Uh-oh. Hey, lads, I think we've got a troublemaker. Uh-oh. No, I made a mistake. Give it up. I agreed to meet a friend here. Um, I should toss you in the dungeon. Um, You're lucky I'm receiving a medal from Princess Ada soon. A medal? For fighting the elven terrorists. Aren't there more pressing problems? What about the plague? Monsters? Do I look like a sap to you? A terrorist bags twice as much gold as a Kikimor. And they're probably much easier to capture. Capture? One need only identify a non-human collaborator. See where you're going with this. Okay, so I'm not sure... There is actually... Some limited number... Can we go through there and actually collect that basket? Is there some limited number of people we can talk to before they do truly catch on and say, you done goof? When I vowed to protect the king and serve Temeria, I command the Nicholas. Mm. What an insult. Oh. I am no Ooh. Yes. I mean... Just going up to anyone who we can talk to. I don't know how we would otherwise know in advance who we are and are not supposed to assume the person might the be. Lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Three lilies make one. Oh! You could have thought up an easier password. Okay, here's the plan. At midnight, my unit will arrive in the sewers. You're not coming with me? We'll watch your back, but only for two hours. See you there. Uh. Man! Okay. Turn hut forward march. Okay, what time is it now? Ten thirty. Okay, so we do have a little bit of time to kill. Not that we have much we can do in the meantime, because well, I mean that gives us what an hour and a half. So I'm not so sure. Since there are no merchants out, it's not like we can buy stuff from people that might. Improve our gear? I don't think. Those people are still out here. And, uh, I mean, 
try crafting some potions, I suppose, in anticipation of what I assume will be a pretty significant fight. There's the milk we just spent on that woman. Giving us some information that we may not actually need. Warehouse? I don't know, we have been in there. We haven't really checked the bank very much. I'll talk to them. A state of emergency means we're watching types like you. Oh. I'm sure by types like me you mean kindly gentlemen. And that you are not referring to the fact that I'm a mutant. Surely. I think this is the way we came from, but yeah. At this point, yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, we have the sewer. I'm not really sure, as I was saying, if there's much else we can do to prepare for that. Maybe we'll head back to the inn and see if we can alchemize a potion or two. Namely, Blizzard seems like that's been our go-to in times of trouble. Let's head back to there. There. Unless there's something over here that I'm forgetting that could be helpful. I mean, is there any reason why talking to Triss would be useful? I mean, to tell you the truth, we should still be able to craft there, too. And there's the chance that Triss might also have other information that she could tell us about. Like, we were talking about Alvin, potentially. So we might be able to progress a few other things if we can manage to catch her before we make our way out. And... Her house, yeah, was somewhere in this corner. Square. Her house, our house. I really know. The intense music again. <sighs> oh, what's the time? Bedtime for you. It's late. You should be in bed. Maybe that actually worked. Only it were always that simple. Um. Though I don't see Triss. So maybe that was not actually going to be all that effective. Uh, I thought that we were able to meditate here, though. Really thought we were? Seeing as how this is like. Sort of our house, too. That would be like our bed. Or like the fireplace to meditate. But apparently that is not a thing. Unless there's something down here that would allow us to do that. And, you know, I'm just going to ignore the fact that we still have not seen what's in that locked door that almost certainly has some very suspicious things behind it. But with that, I think this is probably a good place for us to wrap up with this video. And next time round, we'll see if we can make our way into the sewer and tag along behind that group of guards that hopefully will show up and help us. Because it sounds like we're in line to fight a very significant number of salamandra forces consider that we've fought a few bases already and some of those were pretty full to the brim with soldiers and this is their primary base then look out so with that i'm gonna wrap things up here hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time